Okay, this is just a quick demo of the, uh, the control circuit. And uh, the control circuit basically consists of a, uh, um, a double H bridge. Actually, it's sold by a company called Pololu, P O L O L U dot com. And it's, uh, I think it's actually 38 bucks or something like that. Uh, the interface to that on the little breadboard behind there is just a uh, 8 pin pick. I think it's a 12S683. Uh, it has a A to D converter which I'm using to read uh, the current feedback. The H bridge basically provides uh, a current feedback pin. It's basically a proportional voltage. So I have the pick reading that so I could sense the stall position up and down here. So what I'm going to show is just I'm going to power it up here and cycle it a couple of times. Plug the receiver in. This this right now is just being interfaced and powered up right from my uh, Futaba receiver here. Um, powered it up. It should be ready to go. I'm just going to, you can see here on my transmitter, I'm going to flip my switch here. Uh -oh. You'll see on the circuit there, whenever we see those LEDs lit, when it goes out, that's when it's sensing the current. You'll also notice on both ends, you'll see, you'll hear and see the motor back off just a little. That's to just stop it from binding um, on either end. This is down. I'm go back up. What I'll also demo too is in case it gets bonded, like if something stops it from going down, it stops automatically. And what I'll do is I'll also show that in the other, going in the other direction. So if your gear is coming up, if it senses an obstruction like my hand here, it should stop and back off a little. I'll just zoom in here so you can actually see the, uh, whoops. All right. Um, you'll actually see the motor towards the end. The motor will actually back off just a little. Just this tad, just so that it doesn't stay locked in that locked position. Uh, it doesn't quite allow the gear to completely unlock, but it's, but it's enough so it won't bind going the up opposite direction. And that's it. And again, a little circuit. It's uh, no bigger than a size of a couple of stamps, maybe. Uh, not too complicated of some pit code either. I'm just controlling the uh, H bridge with uh, two outputs from the pic, and I'm also using one input on the pic to sense uh, the voltage that's uh, that's coming out of the H bridge, which is proportional to the current draw on it. And I think I'm basically towards the ends. I think I'm sensing roughly uh, about 1.2 amps when the motor stalls. In uh, regular operation, it's probably only drawing about 300 milliamps or something like that. So, stall is pretty easy to detect, but what I'm noticing is on the ends, uh, both full up and full down, once in a while the motor can bind, so that's kind of why I'm, I put that extra backwards pulse uh, in there just to uh, back the motor off just a little so it doesn't bind. So, seems like it's working pretty good.